Hi everyone! Today I have another polar bear card to show you with the Arctic Bears stamp set. I know I've done a few in a row with the polar bears, but they're so cute and they're part of the join deal right now where you get to throw on an extra bundle in your starter kit for free and so it's just a super cute and I wanted to use it for that reason and then I thought I kept coming up with different ideas for the polar bears. So if you haven't already, check out my other two videos. I did one on Galaxy Sky northern lights um i'm not going to do a video on this one but i'll show it to you i'm not going to do it because it's so simple it's just the two little polar bears and it says my heart is with you every step of the way and i used the fuzzy snowy white velvet paper so it's like the polar bears are actually fuzzy which is really cool and then this one um is another one super simple and i used just the silhouette and also the fuzzy paper and I'm not going to do a video for that because it's so simple. But this one has a technique that I used that gives you a mirrored image stamping. So, for example, these two bears are facing the same way. But I wanted them to be facing each other. And how do you do that? So there is a way to do that. And it's quite simple. And I thought I would show you. And here's the card I made with it. I thought the you and me is really cute. And this might be good. I have a college student who is away. Or maybe you've got a daughter who's away uh, doing something or some, you know, friend or somebody who's away. I was thinking it was more of a child, like cause my child is away, <laughs> um, gone. And that way, you know, you've got um, kind of a mama and baby situation going on. Maybe you've got a college student who's gone. So that's what I picked with this one. You and me, my heart is with you every step of the way. Super pretty. I want to talk to you about what this paper comes from. Gorgeous paper set. And it's from this Whimsy and Wonder paper. And it has silver accents and it's super cute. There's a whole stamp set that goes with it, but I'm just using the paper. I love the colors. So I'm going to show you. There's the one I use, but there's just such pretty. This is polished pink, but it's like a pale down, lightened polished pink. I love these little holly berries in the mint macaron. And then you've got, oh, that's the back of that one. Here's like a misty moonlight. There's trees and stars. And on the back, really pretty Christmas baubles. Um, nicely painted little deer. Super sweet. All right, and then this one. Got some greens, which is really nice. Sometimes you're, you may be after the holiday season, you want something basic. This is just a basic pattern that you can use over and over. Same with this one. You can use this one over and over. But it's got that silver foiling. So pretty. And then this, little holly berries. On the back you've got presents. And the presents, the bows have silver foil accents. Gorgeous. Um, this one is super beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, super great. And the one that I'm using is this one because I just loved these stripes. They look watercolored, you know, or maybe um, made with a pastel or something like that. You can kind of see the rough edges and I just think it's so pretty. The color combination is so pretty. And then the back, it was hard to choose, I have to say, because this has beautiful snowflakes with the silver foil. So pretty. Anyway, I think I said so pretty <laughs> enough, <laughs> but it is. Okay, so I have chosen my background piece here to be Misty Moonlight to go with this stripe. Okay, and then that, if you're wondering where this die comes from, you can see what kind of dies you have that make a nice little frame. Maybe you've got the scallop contours. I wanted to use something new, so I'm using this one, which is um, a new die set, and it has a stamp coordinate with it that cuts out different pine cones. It's called Painted Christmas. It's really pretty. The die set is called Seasonal Labels. As you can see, there's a lot of labels in here. And so I really like that. One, two, three, four, five, six different labels. Um, long for long words, really big. So this is a really awesome die set. And the stamp set that goes with it is really pretty. And then you've got these little details you can add. You can add a little eyelet or ribbon slides. So these little pieces cut out uh, little areas that you can slip ribbon through. So it's just really pretty. I wanted to show it to you really quick. And it is also part of the If You Join Stampin' Up! in this month of celebration, you can choose a free additional bundle in your starter kit. I have that posted all at my blog. It's a great deal. I hope that you'll check it out. And please, please, if you have any questions about that, just call me or email me or send me a message on Facebook. I will be happy to discuss the ins and outs. There are no risks to joining. I want you to know that because there's no forced purchases. 
so there's a whole bunch of bundles that you can add on. This one is the one I was talking about with the pine cones and the Christmas labels. This bundle is $54. And if you add it onto your starter kit right now, it's free. So starter kit's already a great deal, but imagine you get an extra 54 free. Or choose the polar bears, which I'm working with. And the polar bears are $47. So you would get this bundle free. And if you don't have a die cut machine, there are bundles that are just punches. So don't worry about that. Okay, but anyway, let's get to the reverse stamping because that's what I really want to show you. It's super easy. And this card comes together pretty quickly. So there's two different ways to do reverse stamping. Oops. <laughs> Happy hello. I fell off my little scrap. Okay, you can find a stamp that you have that's flat. In other words, there's not a bunch of carvings in it and maybe you've got some different shapes for that and I happen to have this one or you can use your Stamparatus so I wanted to show you the stamp idea as well as the Stamparatus just because not everybody has a Stamparatus it's a cool little tool but um, if you don't have that that's okay there's other ways so maybe look for a piece of rubber if you don't have a flat piece of rubber you can maybe try to turn over a photopolymer set that's really big turn it over flip it on its side so you've got the back where it's flat and you just need a flat, clean surface. So find something like that. You can even try using a sheet of acetate and stamping on that. I like having um, something a little bit thicker, less slippery. But anyway, that's me. But you can try it with that. But let me show you the stamped way with the rubber and also the Stamparatus way. So I need my baby bear. Okay. So for the using a rubber piece or some kind of back of a photopolymer piece you're just going to take your bear and you want to ink it up in something that's really juicy so I happen to have um, I, I'm going to use smoky slate but you know you've got uh, maybe you were hoping to use memento and you can if it's really juicy but memento has a felt backing it's less squishy maybe is the word I'm looking for and so you want it to kind of be you're going to be doing this transfer thing, so it has to stay wet longer. And memento is not as squishy is maybe the word I'm looking for. So to do it this way, you're going to do like the kissing technique. You're going to place your bear down. And now, see, I've got that bear image. And then you're going to stamp it. And now I've got a bear going in the opposite direction. How perfect. Isn't that fun? So you can do that and you can still cut out with your dies. Now that is easier with my Stamparatus method. Now if you wanted to use the die, look the die is going the wrong way, how do you do that? You can hold it up to your uh, your window, just hold it up to your window or use the, the um, your phone. I can't show you that because I'm using my phone to video this. <laughs> but you can put your phone flashlight like underneath it and line it up and tape it down and then cut it. But you're kind of cutting blind so you've got to really know that you've got it lined up. So that is the tricky part with the stamping method. However, if you use your Stamparatus, let me show you that one. Okay, let me clean Baby Bear. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Stamparatus and I'm gonna put him right there. Do I have enough space here? Yes. Okay, so what you're going to do is kind of the same thing, only you need a surface right here. Now the Stamparatus already has kind of a, a slick surface, so this is what I'm going to stamp on. I don't need that rubber piece. I'm going to stamp right on this. Now there's another, if, um, if you're using a photopolymer stamp and your photopolymer stamp is thinner, because this is a red rubber stamp which has that foam in it, you know what I mean, and the photopolymer ones don't do that then you need to put something here to raise this platform and the one that I have on hand is let me show you it's this little razor thing and that's not a slick surface so then what do you do now there is a specialty mat that has a raised area that is slick and you can purchase that one separately or you can go ahead and now put down that piece of acetate some kind of clear acetate and put that down and to hold it in place so it's not slippery and slidey use your magnets and then you've got a way to use your photopolymer with the Stamparatus as well. But I don't need that because I'm using a, a, cling, uh, a red rubber stamp. So I'm going to go like this and I am going to ink up my baby bear. 
I'm using Smoky Slate again, and I'm going to press it down with nothing there. Okay, and when I lift up, the bear is there. And then you're going to go ahead and place your paper. Now here you have to be careful. You don't want to slide it in because you don't want to smear it. And some people just rub, but here's where it's really cool. If you stamp again, okay, now remember we don't want this bear. We want that reverse bear. He's on the back. So it came off of here and went onto my paper. And the cool thing about this is not only do you have a bear perfectly lined up on both sides, like maybe you're doing a window card, and when you open the, you know how sometimes if you've got a window and you open the window, then you've got a back of a bear that's got nothing on it, and it's kind of boring. This way both sides are stamped, so that's cool. But the really cool thing is I can use my die cut. I can put it right there. I can, I'm not cutting blind. I'm going to throw it through my machine, and it's already going to be exactly where it needs to be. So that is the best way for me to do the reverse stamping or mirror image stamping. Okay, so I've got my baby bear. I need a I need a mama bear. I don't know if she'll fit here. Let's see. She will fit there. All right, let's get her going. Maybe it's a daddy bear. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, another nice thing about the Stamparatus is let's say you thought that your image was too light. Because, you know, you do have that moment where you have, um, you know, you're stamping and it's going twice. It's got inked onto the bottom and then you're putting the paper down. So maybe it's not as dark as you want to be. See how Mama Bear is darker? You could actually even do it again. So that way, you know how Stamparatus, it's a positioner. Maybe I'll do it. Let's see. Let's see how good. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to do this and you're going to be like, oh, but if it didn't work, you silly. You should have quit while you were ahead. But we're going to try it because it's just a piece of paper. And, you know, what can, what can go wrong? So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put that right in that corner. The corner is important because then you know it's lined up. Stamp the bear. And now he's darker on this side, but is he also darker on this side. And yes, he is, and it's perfectly lined up. Cool? Alright, I will clean that later. So let's cut out these bears. Okay, so is that going to fit in that little mini machine? Let me take a little bit off there. Okay, so I'm going to find my baby bear die. I believe it's this one I want, yes. And my mama bear. Maybe could have washi taped those down so they don't shift, <laughs> but I think I have it pretty well lined up. All right, we'll see. Okay. And there we have Mama Bear, but we also have our reverse baby bear. Okay, so let's just put this card together. I've got a polished pink background. And I already cut my piece here. I want to layer on top of this and then put that down. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Here they are. And put down my little ice piece here. And I know I cut it out already, but where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this down kind of towards the bottom. Oh, I want to color my bears. I totally forgot about that. Let's color those bears real quick before we're done. Now, polar bears, I know they're white. <laughs> but I wanted to give them just a little more form. And, you know, here's the difference. You can kind of see 
that this is colored and that one's not. There's a little more form in here. I've given him some shadow. So I grabbed my light balmy blue and my light gray granite. And all I'm doing is I'm kind of coming in here and I'm giving him some shadow. Round him off a little bit. Give him a little bit of dimension. Kind of where the creases are and where you can see where the shadows go just based on how the artist drew the bear with these little furry tufts. And we'll just make his belly look a little rounder if you add some deeper shadow. Now, if you want to eliminate this step, perfectly okay. The people sometimes at my stamp camp say, you know, if I can add an extra step, I will. <laughs> so, um, I may add more detail than is needed, but I like it. Okay. And then the balmy blue is just to brighten him up just a tiny bit. So I took the balmy blue and just kind of did the same thing, but less so. Just, just a little less. Barely there. Little dots in the fur. And it's just a touch. But I think it made a lot of difference. And um, I, know I, I don't have a bear. Oh, yeah, I do have another bear. I can hold up so you can see what I mean about just giving him a little bit more dimension. This one's stamped in black though, so it's a little different. Alright, that's enough on Mama Bear. Tiny bit on Baby Bear. Now, let's put our card together. So I'm using my piece of designer series paper. This is cut four and a four by five and a quarter. It's so hard to, to cover up these pretty snowflakes, but I knew I was going to use a snowflake accent, so I wasn't worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to put that down, and then I'm going to layer that down. I'm not going all the way in the corner because I'm going to put a snowflake there, so I tucked it in a little bit. Okay. Let's layer our bears. Okay, and then I have this snowflake. Let me show you how that comes. These are laser cut snowflakes and they have a slight iridescence to them. They're not, they're shiny, yes, but they also kind of pick up like a mother of pearl kind of iridescent look to it. And then the back is white. So you can use whichever side it fits your, your little card and you get a whole bunch of them in there. Let's see how many, 24. But I am being frugal and I cut them in half. <laughs> for this card. Some cards I use the whole thing. But this one, it's kind of hiding back there. So I didn't see the point in um, hiding the entire thing. So he's going to go back here. And I like to make sure that I can still get it in an envelope. I know it's sometimes I see a lot of cards where things are hanging past the card base and I think how is it going to get in an envelope and of course you can easily put it in a larger envelope but um, I don't know I'm a little picky I, I want to use my regular envelopes I want to make sure they go in the mail I'm one of those that you know you make a card I want it to go in the mail simply and without having to pay extra postage all the time all right so I'm going to make a bow now this bow is misty moonlight and white thread that's got it's wrapped in um, silver so it's going to bring out the silver of my little ice my ice 
what is that called? It's floating piece of ice, my floating piece of ice. And um, I'm going to put that down. There's some glue coming through my snowflake, so I'm going to let that be what holds it down. And then I want to just cut out, I have a little scrap of polished pink, and I'm going to stamp that you and me. You can make it really a little bit thicker and stamp that um, my heart is with you every step of the way, or thinking of you. That works too. Actually, maybe I'll do that one because I already did a you and me. So let's do the thinking of you. Mix it up a little bit. stamp with these little ones. I have to get right on top of it these days. My eyes are not as good. So sorry for my head being in the way. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut the end. You can leave it like this or you can flag the ends. I think I'm going to flag the ends. Just why not? Now we're going to use mini dimensionals to pop that up, but I want you to notice something here. It's already popped up because this layer is already up a layer and I want it to go around that and I want it to go past the knot. So on the thinking side, it's only going to get one dimensional. Did I go too far? I did. One dimensional. And then on this side, I'm going to stack two dimensionals just because I have a lot of height going on the one side and not so much on the other. And I want to make sure I don't have like a weird bump over the knot and all that kind of stuff. So I got two and one. And I'm going to place it right there. Did I forget to take the backing off? Yes. Silly me. Okay. Thinking of you. And then I have my inside. I'm going to go ahead and take, I always have a little bit of leftover designer series paper when you cut this because this is five and a quarter and five and a quarter and it's 12. So then you've got, oops, enough to cut two of these little guys out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be really picky and make the blue the top because the top is blue on this one. <laughs> Very silly, I know. And I should have stamped first in case I make a mistake. I've now used up my strip, but I'm going to try really hard to not make a mistake. Yay! Okay. If you had a little heart stamp, you could put that there. All right. And then I'm going to put it down. I hope that you like the polar bears. Um, they're super cute. It's called Arctic Bear. Arctic Bears. And... This is not the one I want. That is not upside down. I have my upside down glue. <laughs> and um, Arctic Bear Bundle is part of the join deal right now. So if you want to know more about that, you can check my blog and search join deal or click the join my team tab and you'll see a short video all about it or search here on YouTube and I have a video all about the join deal on YouTube as well. So there it is. There's my thinking of you or you and me with the reverse stamping. I hope you'll give that a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll click the um, bell and that way you'll get notified of any future videos. Bye.